Look what I just bought. I'm pretty excited. Went to the Amish store today to buy a half bushel of royal galas to eat. And I saw the Stanley prune plum, so I went home to see how many I needed for a batch of jam. And it took about four pounds. While I was there, they had Michigan peaches. The other Amish store told us there'd be no Michigan peaches this year, so half a bushel of them also. Plus, we had a bushel of Paula Reds to make applesauce in the house and a bushel of pears from Stan's friends, so <laughs> it's going to be a busy fruit week. I'm ready to make plum jam. I'm going to use the lower sugar pectin because um, these plums have a lot of sugar in them the way they are. In fact, I saw several recipes that don't take pectin at all, but then you had to cook it for two hours. I don't feel like doing that. I did notice one thing different here. Instead of using just chopped up raw plums, I will need to add a half cup of water to the, well, this is six and a half cups of cooked. That's interesting. So probably six cups of plums. Blend them in the blender and then cook them for five minutes and then add the pectin. Bring them to a boil and then add the four and a half cups of sugar and bring them to a boil for a minute. So first things first, take the seeds out of these and cut them up a little bit and then stick them in the blender. The melon baller does not at all work for this. If the plums are ripe enough, it works okay to take use my fingers. Uh, when they're not ripe enough, I think I'm just going to have to cut along the edge of the pit like that. Well, it seems to work slightly better to cut instead of along the longitude, cut at the equator. Seems the seeds come out just a little bit better that way. Well, I easily had six cups here. There's even a few left over to eat. And uh, some of the seeds came out really easy, but definitely cutting them in half on the equator worked a lot better to just sort of twist the seeds out. All right, I've got the half cup of water in here. We will blend these up a little bit, like just chop them. And then over to the jam pan. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. I'm thinking maybe those are still pretty big pieces of skin. I might chop it farther. Well, I changed my mind and I just blended, blended it. <laughs> so you see what color it is now and you'll see what color it is after it cooks. It's time to cook it for five minutes. Okay, here's what the, it was in a lot prettier color. Here's what it looks like after cooking down a little bit. And then it's been a while since I've made the lower sugar pectin. So in regular, regular pectin, you just mix it in with the raw fruit. The lower sugar pectin, you have to mix it with some of the measured sugar here and then add it to the fruit. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And here are the two stages. Here's the fourth cup of sugar in the pectin. And I'll stir that in. Bring it to a boil, just to a boil, and then we'll add the other four and a fourth cups of sugar and boil it for one minute. All right, I added the four and a fourth cups of sugar. And now we're going to bring it to a, isn't that color beautiful? We're going to bring it to a full rolling boil boil it for one minute and then we're done. All right, we have one jar filled already. Look at that pretty color. It's supposed to make eight cups. We've got eight jars here. Let's see if it actually makes eight cups or not. And there we go. It made a uh, eight and a half. Not sure why I've never made this before. This stuff is scrumptious. Reminds me of the tart cherry jam that I make when I have cherries on my tree except maybe just a little bit less tart, sweeter than that. But, oh, it's really good. I, I almost wish I had bought, hmm, I still could. Do I want to go buy another five pounds of plums? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, i got to make pear jam yet, too, this week, so we'll see. But this was uh, what I would call a quite, a quite a roaring success. Very good. One last remark. Um, if you wanted to, you could process these, use a, you know, new lids, rings, process them in a steam canner or a water bath canner. I make freezer jam, so I will just put lids on these, lids and rings, let them set out at room temperature for 24 hours, and then I will store them in the freezer, and they will keep for years that way with really high quality. And there you have it. Plum good, plum jam on some homemade bread. It's still hot, so it's pretty runny, but can't wait to try this. As long as I don't burn my mouth on it. Let's see. Oh, that's wonderful.
I think we'll put a little bit more on. All right, till next time. Try your hand at some jam making.